Hello there, we have powerful power grid lines in our area and we have our little little tiny house just behind them but the main problem is that it's still too expensive to get electricity into our, into our tiny house and we had many many debates about power sources to our tiny house solar panels, um, fuel generators and everything else well, fuel generators are great in uh, emergency situations but not for working full day, even full week. And solar panels. While it would be enough for us to get electricity out of them, they are kind of expensive. Um, they are hard to install. Many cables, you have to put batteries somewhere, converter, and it's also potentially magnet for thieves. And after short discussion, we understood what power tools and everything we actually need in our tiny house. For example, just about 10 watts of lights and to charge mobile phones or MacBook. And we came into a really great solution. Hi there, today we bought a new uh, power bank for our tiny house and it was long discussion about what electricity should we get into our tiny home, tiny house. It's uh, too difficult for me to, <laughs> to speak about it because it's so many technical things but yeah, we, we were thinking about um, power that... That is compact uh, it could be charged at the home in, in our city yeah to bring it to our tiny house and we don't need it uh, whole year we need it mostly in summer maybe some days in winter because, absolutely in, in yeah. other way we we should get something more stable like uh, solar panels it's not sponsored by del taco i just <laughs> bought it in our local shop it looked nice by specs and we are unboxing this little baby which is kind of light and I'm happy seeing that it's written uh, Del Taco, a Nordic brand. Um, why? Because it's a uh, lithium battery which won't stand uh, okay in a, in a bad weather. I hope it, uh, this company cured this little baby with lithium uh, batteries little bit better than our competitors. So, unboxing video, okay? Ta -da I paid for this 422 euros 99 cents. Two years warranty. Oh, what is this? Let's see. Oh, it's uh, cables. It's an adapter from wall outlet to charge mm -hmm. this little baby. Yeah. And here it comes, much more smaller than the box itself. How do you think will will it be enough I don't to know. charge our all no equipment idea. at home? No idea. No idea. For those who don't understand what we are doing for for what's we are going to use our electricity. It's it's mainly, uh, we are using this, um, I don't know, concrete builder's um, light, which is like a power bank with a 10 watt LED lamp. We are going to charge our MacBook to watch films. We're, and of course, cell phones. Yeah, <laughs> um, and fast charging smartphones, maybe some tablet. Okay, how do you think, how much it waits. Mm. So it's 6.1317. Yeah, something like uh, its com kilos? competitor uh, Jackery 500 model. 
In the first sight, it looks sturdy, good quality. It's rubbery, like, body, I don't know. Two AC outlets, cigarette lighter charger, and many USBs. Okay, powering on. It's powering. Um, it's not fully charged, it's 80%. Oh my god. Oh, here is the light. <laughs> the light. I don't know is this useful yet. Its competitor Jackery 500 model also has not huge but but bright lights on its body. Strobe and uh, full low light. And what is that? Anyway, should we plug something? Maybe to try on, <clears throat> for example. Or maybe read instructions first. No, no, no. I, I never read you instructions. You never read instructions. No. Yeah. Let's look what's what's inside in this little box. USB-C, USB-C cable, DC input, and cigarette lighter plug to charge this thing from your car. Here. Mm -hmm. You plug it. And it's back directly from wall outlet. It, it should be uh, plugged into a DC adapter. Oh, very light. It's probably yes. D class digital. Very, very light. Just to be sure it's charging. Like that. It turns its, its fans when it's uh, charging. I I can hear it. All right, so we, so it's working actually. Now let's try to plug something. <laughs> Could it charge my MacBook? Does it fit? Yeah. Fits well. <clears throat> my old granny MacBook Pro. Oh, yeah, I pushed oh. AC and now what do we see? Do we see green oh. light. It goes it's green and yes, it's charging. Bring to me a hair dryer. Hair dryer? Mm. Okay. A huge and powerful hair dryer. 2200 watts. I'm not sure will it handle. <clears throat> it could be only experimental way. Will it explode or not? That is the question. AC is on. It should work now. No, it's not working. No. 2200 watts. No, it's not working. What else? Yes, and we do like our e-scooters. So we have two of them and we love to ride them. And we think next summer we will ride somewhere around our place. Yeah around town tiny house maybe to, to village shop. village shop village shop because it's or just too for far. fun it's plugged in and the test bam and what about just simple led table lamp oh it's working and that was uh unboxing video for a uh, Portable power station Del Taco, which is not sponsored. Damn it. <laughs> Goodbye, boys and girls. See you soon. Don't forget to subscribe our tiny channel for a tiny house. Bye.